a brand new 217 video today. Today, once again, we are jumping back over to the squad building challenges for another one of these, um, I, don't, I don't know what you call it. It was um, very similar with the, um, who was it? With uh, Gareth Barry with the milestone achievement squad building challenge. I'm not exactly sure what he did, nor do I know what uh, this player did for his achievement, but um, of course, as you know, you can tell by the title, we do have Buffon with his blue and purple 89 rated card. You know, just the guy himself uh, is an absolute legend. Whilst I don't exactly know what his milestone was, um, caps, games played, uh, I, I don't, it could be. I, I really, I don't personally know. So if you do know, you know, let me know in the comment section below. That'd be absolutely fantastic. But either way, he does have a legendary card. Of course, his card already was, you know, incredible. Um, but um, yeah, he's got an even better card this time around. So the card itself is actually really quite good. Just the challenge itself is uh, somewhat underwhelming. So we'll jump into it and see what the requirements are. Of course, you need uh, 11 Calcio A players, four Juventus players minimum, 85 rating, 100 chemistry, um, you know, I, I've said this a few times before about how they're just not challenging. Um, I don't really understand why they don't do like four different challenges or three possibly with like Juventus, um, Italy, maybe Serie A or Calcio A, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, kind of go along those themes because we had that for Gareth Barry, I do believe, where he had like his past, his present and his like current club type of thing. So... It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It seems like a really reoccurring theme where it's instead of putting, you know, a lot of effort into the squad building challenge for this certain player, we'll just do we'll just do something simple and make it 85 rating so it makes it, you know, somewhat expensive. And it, it seems so pointless, but, you know, there's not much I can do about it. So we'll move on and just complete the squad building itself. So in goal, we do have the 87 rated Handanovic, which I paid about 20,000 coins for. Um, so, the, I'd say the squad itself would cost around six, fifty to 60,000 coins in total. Probably, you know, actually more like 60 to 70 if you, you know, buy all the players. But if you have some of them, I would say the most expensive players will cost you fifty to 60,000 coins, which isn't actually too bad for an 89 rated... Um, Buffon, which is quite good. Um, so the next player we do have is Barzagli, then Bonucci. So we've got uh, Bonucci, Bonatia, and Barzagli with Handanovic as well. Um, that's pretty much the most expensive part of the squad for me, is just the uh, those three players, Barzagli, Handanovic, and uh, Bonucci. So in CDM, we are going to go with uh, De Rossi to boost up the rating, and then we are going to go with Albiol. For some reason he works, I'm not going to argue, I'm, I'm just going to take it. So, um, in Cannes we do have Valero, Borja Valero in Cam. there we go. I think I nailed that. Alright, so, Jao Mario goes in the right mid position, 83 rated, boosts up the rating quite nicely. Then it is uh, Bonaventura, goes in the left mid, 82 rated. Um, two strikers, of course, as you can see, are going to be Mandan... I'll try that again. The two strikers are going to be Mandzukic and Benega. There we go. So that's that's the squad itself. There's nothing else I need to say. I mean, I wouldn't say this was the cheapest option, but for me, when I find an option that works, I'm not really going to change it too much. I, I just don't. I just don't really see much point. Um, you could probably do it cheaper. Maybe you could do it with different players besides Handanovic. Um, Maybe you can get some other players that are cheaper, you know, in the different parts of the team. Maybe a high rated striker that's cheaper than the goalkeeper. I, I don't know. You know, this is how I did it. Hopefully, if uh, if it helps you find a cheaper way of doing it, then, uh, you know, that's somewhat completed the uh, the purposes of this video. But this is my team. We're just going to get rid of it. Um, like I said, it cost me about, what, in total, I would say, because it cost me about 20, I'd say 60,000 coins in total. 20 for the two defenders and 20 for the uh, the goalkeeper and the rest was just, you know, untradeable in my club. So, 
60,000 coins for an 89 rated Buffon, which is incredible. Um, and there he is. There he is, his card. 89 diving, 88 reflexes, 90 handling, 72 kicking with 92 positioning with 54 speed. Incredible, incredible looking card. Um, I don't really have a team for him, but I'm sure somehow I can fit him in into a team. It's an incredible looking card. So there we go. Put him straight to the club. Unfortunately, with those type of squad building challenges, we don't get any packs nor any coin rewards as well, which is a little disappointing. So I've managed to acquire myself a Lone Legend pack from a... Um, from the single player tournament, which was an absolute pain to, to complete. But we get 12 items, 12 gold, 3 rare, we get 1 legend. Not, I mean, the rest could be quite good, so... Yo, legend, it's going to be... Oh, it's going to be Hens, Jens Lehmann, rather. 88 rated goalkeeper, 5 games, which isn't too bad. You know, at this rate, I'll have like a full team of lone legends because I've got, what's his face? Del Piero, Overmars, Maldini. It's just, and now I've got Lehman. So there we go. Put him into the club. We also get Suso, which is just fantastic. Uh, all right, so there we go. So there has been Unlocking Buffon. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned, you know, many times before, the, the squad building itself is so ridiculously simple it's just been made you know moderately expensive because it's 85 rated and you have to get some of the high rated Syria players to complete it that's really the only challenging thing about this which is really disappointing because you know it'd be so much nicer to have like you know an 84 rated team Juventus based Italy based and then Syria or Calcio A um that would be so much more fun and challenging to do, but you know I don't work for EA, so I can't I can't make up the rules. Unfortunately, we are dealt the hand we we are given, so it is what it is. But either way, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've got yourself an 89 rated Buffon if uh, if you've managed to. But yeah, hopefully you have acquired this Buffon if you if you can, of course. But either way, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time